Hi, I'm Mia Zachary. I am a best-selling author and a creative writing coach, and I have invented something called the Writer's Block Idea Dice, and I'm going to show you right here on camera how fun, fast, and easy to use they are by creating a story right here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab all the blocks. Oops, I missed one. <laughs> I'm going to grab all the blocks, and I'm just going to roll them out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to get our story started is we're going to pick a protagonist and an antagonist. So we have a protagonist who's a guardian and an antagonist who is some kind of an outcast. All right, so maybe um, let's, let's do a Western. So maybe our hero is the town sheriff. Um, so he is in charge of, you know, guarding the town and guarding everybody in there. And our outcast is going to be... Um, obviously an outlaw, that makes the most sense, but let's make it a little interesting. Let's make it his uh, stepbrother who's on the wrong side of the law. All right, that just makes it a little more fun. All right, so the next ones I'm going to do are the motivation and mindset. Okay, so with these, these can apply to your protagonist or your antagonist. You can use them for both. So let's think about what's driving our town sheriff. Um, obviously, it's a need to protect people, it's a sense of justice, it's a strong knowledge of right and wrong. Um, and what's protecting, uh, excuse me, motivating our outlaw is going to be um, debt. Um, he owes a lot of money to the wrong people, which is how he kind of got caught up in bank robbing, let's put it that way. Okay, so let's next look at emotion and evaluation. So you need to set up what the attitude of both of your characters is going to be. So maybe our sheriff is a little bit holier than thou because he was always mom and dad's favorite and, you know, he always had the perks of being the firstborn son. Um, and maybe, maybe the brother, the outcast, maybe he kind of got caught up with these people, you know, by accident. Maybe, um, oh, maybe he's a gambler. Okay, so maybe he didn't want to get into bank robbing, but he doesn't have the courage to walk away from that debt because if he does, um, oh, maybe he's got a family. Maybe somebody will kill his family if he doesn't have the courage to go through with this bank robbery. All right, so let's see what happens next. Um, let's pull the two catalyst dice. All right, so what's going to set up our story is going to be some kind of a secret. So maybe the uh, antagonist knows about the secret plans to um, rob the bank so he can get out of debt, um, but he knows that there's a good possibility of like the civilians getting in the way and you know maybe somebody's going to get hurt or somebody's going to get killed. So what he's going to have to do is uh, let his brother the sheriff or stepbrother the sheriff know what's going on, which is going to put him in danger because now he's double crossing the, the bad guys that he owes money to. All right, so let's make it worse. Somebody has an agenda in this story that maybe we don't know about. So what if we add the twist? What if the brother who's the sheriff is not the good guy after all? What if he has been in on the plan to rob the town bank all along? You know, he's got an agenda that's running contrary to his brothers and he's not really protecting people after all. All right, so now let's see what's going to have to make it even worse. Let's add some sort of a sacrifice. So what if the outlaw brother has to throw himself in front of a bullet to save his sheriff brother um, because maybe the bank robbers found out that they're related and think that they're both going to double cross them. So one of them has to make a sacrifice of some kind. And that's going to lead to um, a shift. Oh, well, maybe it's going to lead to a shift in attitude. Maybe these guys have been estranged for the last couple years because they're on opposite sides of the law. Um, and now this incident is going to cause a shift in their relationship. So there you go. Start to finish, we just 
plotted out the possibility for a short story or even a novel. And the great thing about the writing blocks idea dice is that you know you can keep rolling them. So let's say that the you know the shift in attitude and the sacrifice isn't the end of the story. Well, you know that's okay. You know just roll some of the dice again, and it's like oh great. Well now we've got a test because they're trapped somehow, and they're going to have to um, divide. Uh, so that you know they're they're working on opposite agendas again, and uh, there's going to have to be some kind of a compromise. So you know basically you just keep rolling the writing blocks and keep telling your story and you know keep using them to spark your imagination, and that's how they work. Thank you so much for your time.